In today's Midwest Farm Daily, for 60 years, the WPS Farm Show has kicked off spring for farmers across northeast Wisconsin. We find local fives Mullane Wells and Oshkosh at the EAA grounds, where the show is back after a two-year break. Mullane. Well, Shelly, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, and a lot of happiness here at the EAA grounds in Oshkosh. Matt Cullen joining me now from WPS. Matt, it must feel good to see these hangars once again full of people. Absolutely. We're so excited that we can have our 60th anniversary WPS Farm Show back here at the EAA grounds in Oshkosh. And as you can see around us, people have really come out uh, to see all the latest products and innovations that over 400 exhibitors are showcasing throughout the three-day event this year. And I know it's early to talk about record attendance, but you guys usually draw upwards of 20,000 people. Absolutely. So that's what we expected going into this year and this event. Uh, but as you can see, yeah. you know, it's been quite a turnout so far. We're hoping this continues throughout the rest of the week. Uh, and really, it, this is a great opportunity to be able to give back to our farm community, our farm customers, help them operate their farms efficiently and improve the success of their farms. And that's why we should make sure to stop by the WPS booth, because you always have incentives and ideas for producers to make sure that they're running as efficiently as possible. Not only that, but then we can also talk to them about the energy that they're using on their farms. And more importantly, are they using that safely? Do they have the proper farm wiring set up? Is it all up to code? Uh, so our agricultural consultants will be available throughout the show to talk with our farm customers about that. And again, ideas to use energy efficiently. This has always been a show where new products have been a highlight. We're actually in a booth right now featuring robotic milking, some new technology to be tracking your herd. Why is it exciting for consumers and farmers alike to get to see that really high-tech farming in action? It really is kind of an offshoot of what the show is all about, about making sure that we have the products, the services, the equipment that's available to assist farms of all sizes. And so uh, our farm show manager, Rob Juno, likes to refer to it as a two-way street. Our exhibitors are looking to showcase their latest innovations to help our farm customers. And our farm customers are coming here because they want to see what's available to help them increase their efficiency uh, and, again, improve the success of their farms. And some of the high-tech uh, offerings that we have, robotic milking equipment, precision planting technology, uh, and even the large farm equipment, all of that is with that idea in mind of improving efficiency. But also for just our average gardeners or people who like to spend a lot of time cutting their lawn, there's something here for them to see as well. And we can't forget to talk about lunch. It's lunchtime right now and you guys have some fantastic offerings. I am really hungry right now, so I'm going to head over to the WPS Farm Show food tent. There are a number of delicious products from state nonprofit groups, which is really a nice aspect of the Farm Show food tent, bison, cheese, pork, beef, potato products, all available inside there. And trust me, you can't go wrong with whatever you choose to uh, indulge yourself in while you're over there. I can do even better for you, Matt. I grabbed a little bit of, the, I'm going to call this the WPS charcuterie board. Simon's awesome. cheese is just across the aisle from us, you guys. <laughs> Shelly, I couldn't help myself. We grabbed a little snack ahead of the segment. The show is today, tomorrow, and Thursday at the WPS Farm Show here in Oshkosh. We are at the EAA grounds. As always, admission is free. Just make sure you bring five bucks for parking. You know, Chad saw Simon's cheese over there, and he's like, oh, I hope we get a charcuterie board. <laughs> Thanks, Melaine. And for more ag news, join Melaine Wells for Midwest Farm Weekly, Saturday at 5.30 a.m. and Sunday mornings at 5 right here on Local 5.